Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Ashley if you are new. And if you are new, please go ahead and stop what you're doing. Do me a quick favor, hit that subscribe button as well as that notifications bell so that you and I can become acquainted and so we can do things like this on the regular. So I just wanted to come in real quick and share with you guys my December favorites. Quite honestly, I'm not going to keep you for long because most of these things are items, if not all of these things, are items that I've been having, but I have, we'll say, rediscovered my love for them in the month of December. Obviously, December is quite a festive month, so because of that, you kind of bring out things that you typically would not use because you are in the spirit of festivities, if you will, or in the spirit of the holidays. So I don't have many items to show you guys. And like I said, most of these things you already know that I love, if you will. So I won't be keeping you long, but I have to show you and share with you all the things that I have been obsessing over or that I have been keeping in rotation throughout the month of December. Let's go ahead and get into it. So you know here, we are candle lovers. You know, us, you and I, we are candle lovers. <laughs> So my candle, my favorite candle that I have been burning, 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 burning the bridges, burning the brakes off of it for the month of December will be none other than Marshmallow Fireside. And let me also apologize for the noise in the background, you guys. You no, know, I live downtown and I have my patio open because girl, it's like 60 something degrees in the month of December. But anyway, Marshmallow Fireside, as you can see, I'm almost down, down to the nub on it but it's just something about this candle obviously you see how festive this packaging is super festive you already know that this is kind of like one of the i would say signature festive christmas fragrances from bath and body works but i'm not somebody who normally goes ham for this candle like i know all the girls love this candle it's a it's a cult favorite if you will but i have rediscovered my love for this in the month of december I did pick it up, excuse me, I did pick it up during the candle sale last month or a couple of weeks ago actually and oh my god just smelling it, just standing right here smelling this, it smells so amazing, it's just something about this candle that just makes you want to put on a onesie and some house shoes and cozy up and watch a Netflix movie and possibly drink some spiked eggnog or some spiked hot cocoa. But yeah, love Marshmallow Fireside. You cannot go wrong. I have never heard a person who did who don't like Marshmallow Fireside. So this has been my favorite candle for the month of December, Marshmallow Fireside. Girl, I'm probably preaching to the choir because I know everybody loves it. <laughs> Secondly, for fragrance, again, a product that is a coat favorite that has um, probably more product reviews or fragrance reviews on YouTube than any other fragrance, and that is none other than Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Courjean. Maison Francis Courjean, let me get it together. <laughs> MFK, as my girl Keiko Beauty says. You guys, this is the most festive holiday scent that you possibly can have, in my opinion. I, I know a lot of people, this is their signature fragrance. For me, it is not. It is a special occasion fragrance, and it's not because necessarily the pricing. It's more so because of the scent. It's a very strong scent, in my opinion. It's probably the strongest scent. As you can see, I barely have a dent in it because I don't because I only spray it like once or twice when I wear it, but I have been wearing it almost every day or every time I get dressed in the month of December. It's so festive. It's so holiday. It's so special occasion. It just makes you just just beware when you wear this you might get kissed by a random and you didn't ask for that <laughs> but i just think that this is so i mean the packaging in itself is just so christmas it's so festive so yeah this has been my favorite fragrance even though like i said it's barely a bit in this and i've been having this bottle for probably about two years but i'm not a girl who i'm a sprayer but there's absolutely no reason for you to, to drench yourself in this, girl. You spray this thing two or three times and that's all you need. And it will be in your hair and on your clothes for the next week. Like, it's strong. So, I think the girls need to pump their brakes <laughs> over spraying this. But again, this has been my favorite fragrance. Not only for... The, I've been wearing this probably every, every... Like I said, every time I get dressed after Thanksgiving, this has been my go-to girl. So, 
Baccarat Rouge 540, you can't go wrong with it. And um, it's a great investment because you can share it with your man too, girl, because she's unisex. <laughs> so my next favorite that I want to share with you guys is actually a sample that I got during the Sephora VIB sale. This is the Lancome Monster Big Mascara. I'm actually wearing it today. You girls can see I have a little bit. I messed my makeup up, but um this is the bomb and i'm somebody who swears by Too Faced better than sex mascara that's my everyday go-to mascara and then my bottom lash mascara is the benefit um let me get that yeah it's the benefit girl this anyway i've replaced this recently with the Too Faced mascara love the Too Faced also love chanel de blue mascara but this is giving me volume i'm not somebody who wears lashes um anymore i used to be a lash girl you couldn't i mean ever since undergrad girl before all the girls were wearing lashes you can ask anybody who knows me they know i was the lash girl so i'm probably just burnt out because i was in the lash club prior to all the girls but anyway i love mascara and this has been the bomb and it has lasted for at least a month, this little sample size. I think this is a 100 point perk from um, Sephora. So anyway, as soon as this is used up, which will probably be within the next couple of weeks, I will be buying the full size because it's very black, it's very uh, voluminous, and um, it, lengthens to, it, lengthens, it lengthens also. But anyway, very, 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 I'm a big fan of, um, of this mascara highly recommended uh, you know of course i'll have everything linked down below and like i said i don't have very many products to share with y'all um another product that i have been loving over the month of december would be actually one of my products it's a cocomacqueen.com product and this is the python sunglasses and i'm not just shamelessly plugging this because it's you know it's a product that i sell but i just think these are so fly like do you like how can black and white python print sunglasses blacked out <sighs> they just look so good they look so good on they look so freaking chic Ugh. even when i got on with this wannabe gucci sweater from boohoo girl she's giving what she needs to give I just absolutely love these. They automatically make you look like a fashion girl, even if you are not. And um, I've been killing these. Every time you see me in Publix, you might not notice me because I have a hoodie on and a mask and, um, and I'm all in all black and I'm not, you know, all extra, but um, you will have, I do have, I wear these every day because girl, they're given what needs to be given. But I love these glasses. Of course, I'll have them linked down below. The girl, everything, favorite glasses. These have replaced my Saint Laurent extra big shield glasses that I wear probably every day for the past two years. But I huh, love these. One last item. I can't believe this is, this probably is my shortest favorites, but I felt compelled to share this stuff with y'all. One more thing this year. And the last item is none other than probably my favorite leather piece or favorite clutch handbag, small leather good, whatever you want to classify this as. And this is my Chanel O case in the large size. I've been having this for probably about five years at this point. I have been, and I typically use it on the inside of my bags, like as kind of like a keep all, as a catch all. I'm a girl who has a compartment for everything in her handbag. I don't have stuff just hanging out at the bottom of my bag. I got bags, inside of bags, inside of bags. And for whatever reason, for the month of December, I have been pulling this out and just wearing it on its own as a clutch girl. She's been a clutch. She's been her and she's, she has been used for her intended purposes for the month of December. And I have just been taking her out. She has just been a simple little addition to any outfit. Um, she just automatically lets, makes you feel like a class act, if you will. Currently, I have my Goyard pouch inside of that. Like I said, I have a purse inside of a purse inside of a purse. <laughs> and then on the inside of my Goyard pouch, I have a Balenciaga <laughs> card 
carrier. So anyway, um, this has been my go-to handbag for the entire month of December. I pull her out if I'm going on a little hot date, if you will. She's just my go-to girl. She looks good. She's cute. She's festive. I think they actually still sell these. They probably are. Girl. So as I said, she has been my go-to girl. She's super chic. This is the black one with caviar leather and gold hardware, as you can see. I highly, and with the burgundy interior, signature Chanel. Um, I highly recommend this, even though Chanel has had quite a few price increases since I purchased this a few years ago, it's still a really good investment. She's extremely versatile. And as you can see, she keeps her shape and she still looks good and she gets carried damn near on, on a daily basis. So, highly recommended the large Chanel case. If it's the large Chanel O case, if I can find any, I will link them down below. But yeah, that concludes my December favorites, y'all. Um, like I said, I haven't been, obviously, Amarion has come back to do the touch dance all through the holidays. So I haven't been out as much as I was kind of going out a few months ago or even a month ago because it's like girl the boy Amarion came out of nowhere um so i haven't been going out as much as i typically would have went out but when i have went out or even when i'm at home those are the items that i have been enjoying so i definitely felt compelled to share those with you if you made it to the end of this very short video you are greatly appreciated thank you girl or thank you boy please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.